you guys are having a wonderful day. Today we have a DIY video, but it's not just any DIY. No, no, no. This is a very special one because most of these items were either dumpster finds, freebies, or just stuff I had laying around the house, making them very affordable and fun to work with. So let's get started. Before I do anything, I like to have a yummy smelling candle burning in the background. For the first project, we're going to be making this beautiful burlap flower. I'm starting by covering my workstation with some brown paper. This is going to help contain the mess. Next, I'm taking some 4 inch burlap ribbon and cutting 4 and 6 inch pieces. After that, I'm cutting those pieces into semi heart shapes. I'm cutting 12 pieces total, 8 big ones and 4 small ones. And now for the fun part, painting! In this case, I'm using yellow, but you can go ahead and choose whatever color you like. We're going to use it and dab it all over our heart. I'm going to continue to do this to every single one of the hearts, and then I'm going to put them aside and move on to the next part of the project. In this case, I'm using teal twine, and I'm going to wrap it around my finger, making a small ball. And this is going to be the center of the flower. We're just going to keep rotating it. After the outer circle is done, I'm creating a smaller one and just gluing it to the center. Now moving on to our flower petals, you're going to create this crease effect. Apply your hot glue, stick them together. You can use them for your flower or fan yourself. <laughs> Once that's done, you want to put them together and start gluing them to each other. Don't touch the hot glue. <laughs> Continue layering the petals, placing the large ones on the bottom and the small ones on top. For the final touches, you're going to stick the center of the flower down and your flower is complete. Find your favorite lampshade and stick the flower right on it. Mine is going on this lamp that I found by the dumpster and my father-in-law helped me paint. For this next project, I'm using a plain burlap canvas. I've created this line to let me know where the mirror image is supposed to go. Dab paint over your favorite stencil and make sure to hold it very steady. These supplies were all on clearance at my favorite craft store. This project was probably one of my favorite ones to do. It was so quick and it turned out so beautiful. Now for some more trendy wall decor. I was inspired by this frame that I found by the dumpster. Before I get started, I want to make sure it's nice and clean. I'm using a scrap piece of fabric I had and stapling it to the back of the frame. For a pop of color, I'm decorating the fabric with the same stencil. Then I set the frame aside to dry. Ever wanted to have those cool Polaroid pictures but never could? Wish no more. I printed out some regular pictures and then went ahead and created my own Polaroid frame and attached it to the picture. And lastly, laminated the pictures to hold it all together. Here I'm using the lid of a bowl to help me cut out the perfect circle. Once the paint is dry, you can go ahead and stick all the pictures to the fabric with double-sided tape. The oversized portrait I used was a freebie I got with an online promo code. I think the combination turned out pretty nice. There it was. It was so much fun and easy. I hope you guys try it out. If you do, make sure to leave me a comment below. I always love reading them. Don't forget to subscribe and I will catch you guys next time. Bye!